Hey everyone, so I had a little thought yesterday that I might like to also connect with my listeners uh, via video so that um, we can occasionally check in potentially down the track. Maybe we could even have some uh, Zoom conversations about, uh, you know, how we're navigating through the life that we're living at the moment. Um, so this is my first little video uh, and I wanted to talk about something that happened this morning. I was up really early. Uh, that's the thing about this little project is, and I am going to need to find some level of uh, balance or harmony within that. But my brain is overflowing with all the ideas and the things I'd like to share. So the early morning wake ups are a bit of a killer, but for some reason, it just feels like the right thing to do. Um, this morning I had, I was doing a little bit of note taking and thinking about some ideas and the idea that came to me and it sort of elicited a feeling of, I wouldn't say anger, but a little bit of frustration. And that is like, I just want to yell to people, I am not broken. I actually am not broken. Stop trying to fix me. <laughs> and uh, I guess that comes from the way that people have reacted to certain situations. So if I have been emotional, um, if I have cried, if I have said things that might be negative, if I have told someone that I had postnatal depression, the reaction from other people has been quite insightful and very different. So there'll be some people that might sort of sit there and listen and go, oh, okay, I really understand. I'm sorry that you're going through that. Then you'll have the other ones where you speak about it. They might sort of go, oh, okay. And they will never ever talk to you about it again. Uh, there will be others that might say I don't understand what you're going through but I'm here to listen uh, I've had you know on, a, on an occasion where I've spoken about things feeling overwhelming and obviously it was coming from me in a negative tone but I've literally been bought a book about happiness uh, which at the time I thought hmm I don't know how I feel about that like thank you it's a great book but am I not entitled to speak about the things that are bothering me? I don't know. So it just got me thinking, uh, and I'm actually going to write um, an episode and, and put that up um, shortly. So you can look for that. It is called I Am Not Broken. And it's just going to go through, you know, a couple of little occasions that have happened to me and perhaps to you. And I guess it's a way of getting us to think about the way that somebody else reacts to you and your story and what's happening is not about you. It has taken me 43 years to learn this lesson. It is actually not about you. It is about them. Perhaps they've had something really similar and the thought of you bringing it up actually hurts them and they're not able to go there. Perhaps there's somebody who doesn't feel their emotions as much as you do. So when they're not reacting as the way, the way that you think that they should or the way that you need, it may be that, that, that they just don't have an understanding. I truly believe there are those people that have zero empathy for others, zero ability to step outside of themselves and see what others are going through and put themselves in their shoes. 100% those people exist. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Um, and then you'll have people that will just literally sit in the trenches and walk that through you, with you, and they are the best people to have. They are the ones you want to keep by your side. So um, I'd love for you to tune in and, and listen to the episode of I Am Not Broken. Um, but in the meantime, just have a little think about, you know, are you allowing other people's reactions to what's happening with you affect you? Because I certainly would walk away from some of those interactions feeling 
even worse, feeling like there really is something wrong with me. I shouldn't be crying. I shouldn't be complaining. I shouldn't be sharing anything negative. It should only be positive. You know, if there is a saying, and, I, and I'm not going to quote who it is or exactly the right words, I, I have no clue, but it, it came to me this morning as well. Like If we actually don't acknowledge the dark and sit in the dark and realize what is happening in the dark, how do we fully appreciate and accept the light as well? You know, there is always that yin and yang, black and white, that balance between, um, you know, what is going on for us and how we deal with that in the good times and the bad times. So you should never feel minimized or like it doesn't matter from another person. Um, you know, that's a, that's a huge work in progress, trying to not take on board what others are saying or doing, how they're acting around you when you've spoken about these things. What you can do is protect yourself from that work out who those people are, who are the ones that you can go to, but also have an awareness perhaps of how are you showing up for other people? Are you that one where someone speaks about something that's, you know, not great that's been happening to them and, and you just tell them what they should do? Do you go and tell them what book to read or, oh, you should check this website out or you should go to this person or you should do that? Or do you just let them have their moment, sit in it, and offer support. I'm here for you with whatever you might need. So yes, tune into the episode. I'm not broken. Um, you can, everything is escalated with undamaged. It's been four days. I don't know what I'm doing, but I have a YouTube channel now, undamaged with Mia, which this video is going to be on, uh, a, um, a Facebook page, undamaged with Mia, a Twitter account, Undamaged with Mia, the podcast, Undamaged. Uh, if you want to email me, you can email undamagedwithmia at gmail.com. I think I forgot Instagram. And my podcasts are now on Spotify, CastBox and Google. There potentially will be um, in other places as well, but that's where you can find anything at the moment. So just jump on and Google. So yeah, it's a busy day, got a lot to do, got a lot to say, um, jump on to those, uh, to the, to the podcast, have a listen, uh, share it with anyone you think it might be useful for. Um, and once again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.